Extreme Performance Expo viewers, we got a real treat for you. We're here, Waggler Competition, Odin, Indiana, is that right? Yep, out in the middle of nowhere, Indiana. That's true, there's a lot of corn right here. Yeah, out in the middle of the country though. Right but there's the also a lot of diesel tech here. Big horsepower, a lot of diesel tech, a lot of grassroots, get it done, figure it out, fix it. And that's what you've got right here is, hey, people go do things, problems crop up, but as any good farm boy does, you find a way to fix it. Yep. And I think you guys have this right here. That's where it all starts. You start getting the phone calls of what's going on, either performance or stock application. And is in this example, it's stock. But yeah, this broken, isn't looking too good because it's missing part several, of this. Several lobes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This should this be much the, longer than this. That's the length it's supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what happened here? <laughs> uh, long story short, uh, the new Cummins engine, 2019 plus Cummins has always been a flat tappet. So Absolutely. flat tappet cams. Mm -hmm. Flat tappet's been going for hundreds of thousands of miles for some reason they changed it up a little bit 2019 they put a roller cam in it mm -hmm. whether it's for noise emissions we don't we don't know the whole story but wasn't very long after they released them we started getting calls of a tap at noise mm -hmm. pulled the valve cover and the valve cover doesn't have under the valve cover there's no way to adjust the lash Okay, so, that's different from in the past, yeah, right? So factory, factory forever on a 24 valve Cummins, you always had an adjuster. So you could adjust the lash. The lash was right on the valve cover, the specs were, and you could adjust the lash. Because those were solid flat solid tappets. Flat they were not tappets. hydraulic. Nope. And All right, that's like good I, to know. Like I said, they would last for hundreds of thousands of miles, even between adjusting the lash. So right. these yeah. started coming in, the 2019 pluses started. And making types A little bit of, of noise. Rocker, rocker arm noises. I can see why. That is ugly. Yep. And basically they went to a hydraulic lifter. So Got you can it. see the, you can oh, yeah. show the camera. The, oh uh, yeah. You can see that wheel right there. The pitting on that wheel pretty much matches up pretty well with the pitting on that camshaft. Now what's interesting here is I see a little locating. That looks pretty puny to be honest, by the tiny, way. Tiny, tiny and it does not fit. So the block is machined with a radius. Mm-hmm. And this is like a straight flat. Right. So basically you can take, when there's, there's no oil pressure on it, you can rotate it. You know, so it's not a degrees. hard key, no, it's a radius. It's a radius. Oh, yes. wow. So okay, like so a, this is supposed to be like a semi key, but they've got this radius, so yeah. there's actually slock in there. And then basically what we're hearing, uh, mm -hmm. through the driver's side fender well, you can listen, you, you customer's complaint is it's making a ticking noise right. uh, with low miles. So going back to the dealers, a lot of the dealers- Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, this guy- Wait, wait, you probably couldn't see this. So I'm gonna show it to you here real quick. Not only is this lifter kind of like walking around, you can actually, there's actually slack. Slop, cause and that uh, actual actually is Free floating. It's floating and it's loose in the body as well. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So like I said, design, I feel like it's a design flaw. There might be other reasons for this, mm -hmm. you know, is it cost, is it whatever. But needless to say, the oil pressure, oil is a really thin oil. Yep. The zero W30s and yeah, there's right. several different dealers. Not the traditional 1540. That Normally it was always a 1540. Right. Uh, but anyway. But the, for emissions and fuel economy, they've gone to lower viscosity oils. And so the fuel economy and emissions is maybe one of the reasons why they went away from the flat tappet and to went to the, the roller. roller. But it's causing us grief on the backside. So long story short, they lose prime at an idle. Okay. There's a lot of leakage around the body because the we've been checking the blocks and they're they're not. You checking. can see there's you, a lot yeah, of wear yeah, on the body. Yeah, it, you, it's significant. So some of them will go in and they're just sloppy, mm -hmm. and that oil pressure gun drill right through the block is a half, like it's cutting right through half of it. So a lot of leakage. So then it's not keeping the, the lifter filled up. Yep. And then basically it starts dancing. So you can take this and just rotate it on the camshaft. So and then it becomes a little hammer, and yep. it just. Failure is imminent and, at that point. And like I said, was it expense? Why wasn't it made with a with a radius? We don't know. But a few years ago, we made a kit that basically you take this section, you take a new lifter from Cummins, mm -hmm. you pop the little hairpin clip out, yep. you remove the, I call it guts. the guts of yep. the hydraulic system, you put this plunger in. Makes it done. solid. We had Manton build us some nice push rods. Basically, we had to change the design because, as you can see, Cummins went from, right. they used to be 
a ball, ball so the right? cup would retain the cup oil. was in the push rod and then and now the cup's in the ball, rocker and the cup is upside, upside down, down right. and it's you can see the extreme wear on that piece as well yeah let's see this to the camera you can probably get an idea of this it is not pretty in that cup what's going on so we went back to a traditional yep. heavy duty push rod oh, that is a beautiful nice looking cup. piece yep right nice there. cup nice ball that, ball that goes into the lifter in this cup so From that was our side. first, that's our first kit we designed, Got basically it. doing away with the hydraulic guts, going back to a conventional adjust your rocker lash to your, your desired, and we're done. Well, that's good for the street use and, and mm -hmm. for most everyone, but then we're getting guys wanting to race them as well. So Absolutely. higher spring pressures, stage two cams, different cam designs, uh, we decided we would go ahead and talk to Jessel and had Jessel build us a really nice one, pinned shaft, nice, oh, yeah. nice that, that, roller. That looks like a NASCAR lifter. Yeah, it took us a little <laughs> bit to get the design of the uh, radius on oh, the, yeah. uh, but yeah, look at the difference. Oh, oh yeah, we're going to show this at the camera right now. So there's the ball, right, for that versus the that. Little. It, it, that is night and day difference. No, no wonder this holds it so much truer it does. and straighter. Yep, and we're not relying on oil pressure to the Keep, hydraulic yeah. section, so engine life will be better as well. Yep. We went ahead and had them drill through and oil the roller. Yep. It still has oil to the center. It's going up and catching the push rods and everything. And it's so edge radius too. I mean, that's just all, yeah. everything about this lifter is showing me. This is a Jessel piece. Quali yes, right. it's this a quality This looks lifters. like a quality Jessel yeah. Piece. They are more expensive than the OE. Which, you get what you yeah, pay for. Yeah, this this thing is. I'm I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure it's pennies on the dollar on on machine time on this guy. But you have two options. We're creating this mm -hmm. to go with the Mopar lifter, and then if you don't want to go that route, we have this guy that goes and does away with everything. Run a new camshaft. We have two different levels. So then of you can take this. this. I right, take that camshaft. Yep. Couple it with this lifter, you've got the push rods, you've got the rocker conversion kit, yep. so you can actually make a real race cool. valve train. Yep, and then you can put your spring pressure up to where you want it because it's a good quality roller, good good uh, camshaft, and that way you're not floating valves on your race truck. So right. it's working. Yep, yeah. it's working. Unlike the old factory, and you ask why it's short for basically. Whenever we see them eating the lobes, mm -hmm. this one's not even the worst. We've seen them where it dug all the yeah. way across. That material goes right in the rod bearings, seizes up the rod bearings. This one chucked the rod right out the side, so you got a half of a camshaft, a junk block, a junk crank, a junk everything. But we're seeing this low mileage under 100,000. Yeah. So anywhere from 40,000 to 40,000 to 100,000 is where we're starting to hear guys come in with complaints and we're selling these kits too. That's collateral damage that's way more expensive than just getting the parts to prevent potential collateral damage. Yep. We are doing one more step. It won't be for everyone, but we're uh, producing a flat tappet and going back to a flat tappet camshaft. Got it. Will you need that? Not really. Some guys like the flat tappet because it's lived forever. It's been in their farm mm -hmm. truck forever, so that's why we're doing that. We're It's a new, bigger stem mm -hmm. taking the place of this guy, so right. those are getting finished up as we speak. So that we out but for the other kits we have everything in stock that's awesome so find the problem create the solution 2019 plus cummins in your pickups there you go pickup trucks yep that's what we're here for engine performance expo what a day 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 my brain my brain is swollen i've learned so much today they told us don't start cars, we are not going to listen.